What's up guys, this is Juicy Pika, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a brief overview of the updates to Champions Riot made in the mid-season update. This is going to be very brief, but if you guys enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Starting off with Malzahar, who in addition to getting a new splash art has received changes to his passive and W. His passive now grants him near invulnerability from any crowd control effects or damage. He enters this from not taking damage for a brief amount of time and leaves it after taking damage. His W is now called Void Storm, which is basically what his passive used to be. Using this ability, he's able to spawn void monsters which are able to attack minions, monsters, or champions. And yes, they still love space aids. Now, moving on to Brand, who's only really received one major change, and that's who's passive, Blaze. It's still that same magic damage over time effect from hitting abilities, but now it's able to stack up to three times. And once you hit that third stack, it detonates and deals massive AoE damage. Which means if you're able to hit your ult on enemies, you'll do crazy damage in teamfights. Next up is Vladimir, who's received changes to his Q and his E. His Q is basically the same as it used to be, except now if you cast it twice, you gain Crimson Rush. And casting Q during that duration will deal bonus damage and grant you bonus movement speed. Vladimir's E, Tides of Blood, now causes them to slowly use health to charge up a ball of blood over time and then detonate it to deal damage and slow enemies. Moving on to Zyra, who's received changes to her passive and her Q. Her passive now is basically like Alawi's passive, except with plants. Her Q is basically what it used to be, except now it has a bigger range and it pretty much does the same thing it used to with her plants. Her ult didn't change, except now you can see that her ult makes her plants much bigger and deal more damage. Now the 5th mage update was on Valkaz, and he received a minor change on his ultimate. His ultimate, like his other abilities, are basically what it used to be, except now if he's able to proc his passive before ulting, he's able to deal true damage for its full duration. Now last but not least, we have Cassiopeia, who received changes to her passive and her W. Her passive is now Snakes Don't Need Boots, which basically grants movement speed per level, but doesn't stack with movement speed from boots items. Her W is now called Miasma, in which she spits out a venom in an arc, damaging enemies entering it over time, but also afflicts them with Grounded, in which they can't dash, flash, or take a magical journey to safety. In addition to the six main updates, Riot have also added a few changes to the other mage champions as well. Tibbers now mauls any stunned target, Swain's Q sends his bird to slow a targeted location. If Fiddlestick stands still, he gains movement speed. Ziggs can now execute towers with his W. Syndra now passively spawns balls. Zerus can fire more arcane barrages. Anivia's ult grows and deals more damage as it grows. Vagar now stacks off of hitting abilities on champions as well. Now that's just a brief overview of the mage reworks and updates in the mid-season update. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.